Representative Mike Kaufman is in Colorado, and he's a Republican. And before he was in a very Republican district, and so he would do, you know, really red meat rhetoric for conservatives. They'd love it. And uh, now he's been redistricted it so that his new district is really 50-50, and he's got to be a lot more moderate or pretend to be moderate, right? Because he's a politician. So, except he forgot. He forgot he was. Uh, he thought he was in his old district, and he had said, as we've shown you in previous shows, my God, uh, I'm not sure President Obama was born in the United States, but I know that he's not an American in his heart. He's not an American. So now that's very, very harsh rhetoric that works in a deeply Republican district, but does not work in his new district. But he doesn't want to alienate his old voters, so he's in a bit of a pickle. Now, he's being asked about it over and over. He's trying to avoid it. And in this case, uh, Nine News in Colorado is doing a terrific job. And their reporter, Kyle Clark, has been trying to chase him down. Finally, catches him as he's about to go to a closed door meeting. And hilarity ensues. I apologize for showing up unannounced. I've been trying to call your staff. They won't return my phone calls. So let me ask you, after your comments about the president, do you feel that voters are owed a better explanation than just, I misspoke? I think that. Um, as I, I stand by my statement, uh, that I misspoke and I apologize. Okay, and who are you apologizing to? You know, I stand by my statement that I misspoke and I apologize. I apologize. We talk to you all the time. You're a very forthcoming guy. Who's telling you not to talk and to handle you it know, like I, this? I, I stand by my statement that I wrote, that you have, and I misspoke and I apologize. Was it that you thought it would go over well in Elbert County where folks are very conservative and you'd never say something like that in the suburbs? I stand by my statement that I misspoke and I apologize. Is there anything that I can ask you that you'll answer differently? You know, I stand by my statement that I misspoke and I apologize. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's just self-parody. That's terrific. Actually, you got to give Kyle Clark a tremendous credit there for chasing him down, for getting to him, and for asking, and then for asking him all the right questions. And he became, who was that guy in the South Carolina, Al Green? Uh, Alvin Green, you know, <laughs> Jim DeMint started a recession. <laughs> no matter what you ask him, uh, I stand by my statement, I uh, misspoke it, and I uh, apologize. Uh, but what are you apologizing for? Who are you apologizing to? What's going on? You see, he's stuck. Because if he says, no, Barack Obama was clearly born in the country, he's an American, there's nothing wrong, then his right wing people think, oh, traitor, oh my God, this guy turns out to be sane. We can't have that. Oh, and they throw him overboard and they hate him, right? But if he says, oh, Barack Obama's not born here, well, then the rest of the district thinks he's Looney Tunes. Like, did he, he's like, I don't know, did we land on moon, on the moon? I don't know, maybe we landed on Venus instead, I don't know. And Obama maybe not born here. And he seems like a lunatic, because he, you know, that is a lunatic position. You know, Hawaii had to do it again. Hawaii just had to deal with Arizona and their government and prove to them again that President Obama was born in Hawaii. And then they sent them, uh, ship, shipped them home. And Arizona's like, okay, I guess so. <laughs> so you, you look stupid. And here, he's stuck. It's a perfect case of Republicans stuck between their base and the rest of the electorate. So they just, have a politician speaking like a robot, and the initial like not knowing what to say and the blinking and trying to remember what his advisors told him. I, 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 I stand by my statement. I misspoke and I apologize. I misspoke and I apologize. I misspoke and apologize. I misspoke and apologize. Loser. <laughs> Come on, who's gonna vote for that guy, man? God, and if you vote for him, you should have your head examined. You think that guy is earnest? You think that guy has your best interests in mind? No, he's like, oh, I'm calculating. I'm trying to figure it out. Which way am I going to go? I don't have any real opinions. I just, my advisors tell me, and I misspoke, and I apologize. I misspoke, and I apologize. Did I do a good job? Politicians. Awesome.